Welcome back aliens, my name is Levin Reddy. In the last video we have talked about a very special variable called as name. Now in that video we have discussed about the importance of name and how do we use it with main. But again it created some level of confusion so let's clear it here. If you don't have any doubts in that particular video, you don't need to watch this video, you can simply skip it and watch the next video. In case if you are not feeling ease with that video, this is where I will try to remove your confusions. So to define that, let's go for another example here. So let's say I'm working on a project and of course when you work on a project, you will be creating some module, right? So in this case, I have two different modules. We have demo and then we have calc. I'm now working only on demo, okay? I'm not focusing on calc as of now. Let's focus on demo here. Now inside demo, I want to accomplish some task, right? And the way you do that is by defining some functions. Now in this, I will define a function. Let's say it's, I will say def. And this is fun one. Okay. This is my first function. And in this function, I will do certain tasks. I will use some variables. I will assign some values to it. And then I will perform some operation on that. And at the end, uh, let me print from fun one. That's my first function. And let me define one more function here. The way you do that is by just coming down here and paste. And I will define this function name as fun two. And I will say this fun two. Okay. So imagine this function had a lot of statements. Now, if I try to execute this file, if I say run demo, of course, you will not get any output because we are not calling them, right? So the ultimately, when you define a function, you need to also call them. The way you do that is by saying fun one, and then you will say fun two. Okay, these are the two statements we are printing here. So it means on this code, and you can see we are getting fun one and fun two. The twist is normally when you define functions, normally when you work on a project, if this is your standalone application or standalone code, or this is the only file you are going to write in your project. Normally what we do is we define everything in a function because statements should be a part of a function. So even this function calling should be done inside another function. We'll say this is def main. Now this is the standard procedure which we all follow because if you're if you're coming from other programming background let's say C, C++, Java, we do that, okay? So main is a starting point of execution. So generally we define the function name as main. And of course main will not be calling itself, right? Example, if, if I say run demo, you can see we are not getting any output because of course you need to call main as well. So at the end you will call main and it will work. So you are calling one function main and main will take care how to execute all the statements and then you can call them, right? This is how generally we make a software, okay? So we have a main function. From the main function, you will call all other functions. So this perfectly makes sense. Let's go back to calc, okay? Now let's say I'm defining a calculator here and then in the calculator as well, let me define some function. I will say def sum and this function does something. Of course, it will add two numbers and I will say result one is, okay, something like that, okay? So I'm, I'm defining this function. And let me also define another function, which is let's say subtraction. Again, you can define this function fully if you want, but as of now, let me just keep it simple. So we'll say sum and we have sub. In fact, it should be add, right? It makes more sense. So we have add and we have sub. Of course, to call this function as well, I need to say def. And in this def, I will say main. Of course, to call the main, we need the main function. And from this main, I will call add. And from this main, I will call sub. And at the end, we have to call main as well. Otherwise, we cannot call them. So from this code, you can see we got result one is result two is. So this is how we define files, right? So we got two different modules. We got demo and we got calc and they are working perfectly. Now you want to use calc in this. So when I say function one, function one want to use add. So when I say from, from one, I also want to call add function from here. So let's say I want to reuse the code, right? So I want to reuse this add function in this demo. That's what we do. That's why we define functions. Now, in order to use that function, what we have to do is we have to say import calc or maybe you can say from calc import add. So now we are importing that particular function which is add, right? And you can see we are writing add here. So will this work? Of course, let's try. Let's run this demo. So I'm not running calc now. I'm running demo, right? So the output which I'm expecting is from one and from two. And of course, we are calling add. So it should print result one, right? That's This is what I'm expecting. I'm not expecting result two because I'm not running calc. I'm running demo. And in demo, we are not using result two. The moment I run this demo, can you see that? We are also getting result two and we are getting result one as well. 
this is weird, right? We don't want this. The reason we are using this demo is we want to print from one, we want to print from function two, and we also want to print result one because we are calling it. We are not calling substrate is printing result two. It's because the moment you import a library, if you the moment you import a module, it will execute all the statements. And in that you can see we have main. It is calling main, right? And main calls all the functions. We don't want that, right? So we have to say, hey, I want to call main only when I am executing this particular file as a standalone program. So I want to call main only when I call this as a standalone program. I don't want to call main when I'm running it from another file. So here I'm just concerned about add. I'm not concerned about main. So in that case, because if I print a statement here, I will say in calc main and if I go back to demo, so I'm not calling main from here and you can see it still says in calc main. Why you need to call a main of calc? That's the question, right? Because we are running demo. This is my first code. I'm using calc as a module. In that case, what you will do is you will call main only when I'm running calc as a code. So you will say if. Now, how do you know that this is the code I'm running? So whenever you run a code and whenever you execute a code, there's a variable called as name which will hold the name. So if this is the code which I'm running at the start, the name variable will have main as a value. So let me repeat, if this is the file which I'm running, this name variable will have main as a value. Otherwise, this name variable will have the module name. Example, let me print inside add, let me also print, I will say result one is and let me print the name variable. Let's see what happens. So I'm printing a name variable, okay? Let me go back to, let me just run this calc first. I will say right click and run. You can see it says result one is main, okay? So that means this code is running itself, right? This is your standalone code. The moment you use calc as a module in some other code, and now if you run this, you can see it says run result one is calc, okay? It's because the name now is printing the module name. So that's important. That's the importance of this name. And you can also see when you run this code, we are not getting result two because now you are saying if the name is main, then only call main. Otherwise, other code will use this as a module. I hope you are getting my point here. So I tried my best here. So let me know in the comment section if you still have any questions. I will try to, you know, maybe because in other code, in future videos, we'll be using this a lot. Maybe it will clear your confusion there itself. So that's it, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this. Let me know in the comment section. That's it. Bye-bye.